Welcome to Craft Beverage Warehouse, how to set up your artwork in Illustrator video. So you want to submit your artwork. Let's set it up together. Go to our website, www.craftbeveragewarehouse.com and log into your account. Upon logging in, you will be redirected to CBW's Manage Artwork page. You can use this page to keep track of your submitted artwork and communicate with us about the progress of your sample orders. But before all of that, let's download some templates and get your artwork ready for submission. Click on the button that says Download Templates. Select your desired can size and download the Illustrator file from the drop-down menu. Today we'll be using the 16-ounce standard template to set up our artwork. Now that the file is downloaded, open an Illustrator and navigate to the Layers panel. Simply switch off the visibility of the template layer and leave locked. Do not delete or edit this layer. You may toggle it on and off as needed. Any artwork submitted without this layer will not be accepted. Since we are just focusing on the Your Artwork layer for now, you can turn off the white background and varnish layers as well. Open your original artwork file and copy all. Go back to the CBW template file. With your artwork layer selected, paste and size your artwork as desired. Note that if your artwork spans the entire length of our template, the right and left sides of your artwork will meet together in, the, in your final print. Next, we are going to focus on adding in our metallics. On the Your Artwork layer, select all elements you wish to appear metallic in your final print and edit copy. Turn on and select the white background layer, then edit paste in place. At this point, you can now turn off the Your Artwork layer. Use Pathfinder to subtract and add elements to the white background layer as needed to get your desired effect. The pink spot color represents where we want white background for a flat non-metallic effect underneath our artwork. The absence of pink represents a metallic effect. We are good to go on this layer. Now let's add some varnish. For a full gloss varnish over your can, you can leave the purple in place as, as is. But for this artwork, we are going to add spot varnish. To do this, we are going to basically replicate what we did for the white background layer. Copy from your artwork layer and paste in place into the glossy spot varnish layer. Use Pathfinder to subtract and add elements from your artwork as needed. The presence of purple will let us know where you would like your varnish to be placed over your artwork. Once all layers look satisfactory, toggle them all to the on position so they are visible with your artwork layer on top. Save as using our naming convention template. Add in the name of your company and then the name of your beverage right after. The rest can stay as is. Note that if your naming convention file does not meet our standards, your file will not be accepted when uploading on the website.